So we are in the Coachella Valley, which is at the base of the Santo Santo mountain range in Southern California. And what we're going to do today is we're going to go around and, and do a little bit of bug investigation, find out what types of bugs we might be able to find underneath rocks and such. I think we're going to have some pretty good luck finding some bugs. It is March in the high desert. Uh, the temperature outside, it's about 80 degrees. It's springtime. And if you notice this bush, it's covered with small white flowers. It may be a little hard for you guys to pick that up. So what we're doing is we're sweeping. In this little net action, we will sweep through the bushes. But you don't try to do this on something that's like a sticker bush because your net will get torn to shreds and get stuck. Here's another technique. You actually take a branch, stick it in your net, and just shake it. When you shake it like that, anything falls in. And I see there's some small flying creatures. Um, a couple of real small spiders, but nothing that's in of really interest. But they're doing their job out here in the desert. There's a real small spider. Jumping, jumping little guy. He's trying to get out of the net. He's like, I don't want to be here. So what we can find in these bushes and these shrubs are praying mantis, walking stick insects, um, various spiders, and... Uh, damselflies might be around them if there's a water source nearby. Uh, bees of all sorts. And in fact, we saw some, there's a big red bush that's down here. Uh, saw some big black bees flying around, so maybe we'll catch one of those guys. Um, I'm going to check this bush right here. Kind of on this, this little slope here. A little different. But do this little maneuver again. No, can't. This is an evergreen of some sort. I can tell by how, how hard the leaves are little needles and now that I'm beating it you can smell it it's a pine tree of some sort well, I saw something fly out of there oh yeah so here's a walking stick There's a little stick bug, a little walking stick insect. So now if you notice, see if I can put him on my glove. He blends in with his environment really well. Now he's brown because he's camouflaged. He looks like a dead branch. There's some other bug. Cool. There's this big red bush up here that's got all these bees flying on it. I walked by earlier and it was like, whoa, there's a lot of bees on here. So let's take a look at what's in here. So if you notice, this is a pretty large shrub. Look at all these red flowers. If you can come closer, you guys come up here a little bit closer. You can, maybe you can see some of these bees flying around, but if we're all quiet, let's listen. You can just hear all that buzzing. So somewhere around here, there's a, a honeybee hive. Uh, we're just gonna leave all the honeybees alone. Um, I did see a large black bumblebee flying around. Not sure where, he was over there, and then he was over here. Yeah, I got him. Well, this is cool. All right, you can just hear how mad he is. We'll put him in a container so you guys can get a look at him. Ooh. So this is a fairly common species that's out here. Um, I'm not sure as far as size-wise if this is like one of the largest species to be in the world, but it rates up there. If it's not, it's one of the bigger ones. So when I was a little kid, I used to collect bees all the time, all sorts of bees, bumblebees, honeybees. And I finally, after being stung over and over and over again, I realized I don't want to do this anymore. Now, I wasn't using a net. I was just using a jar and a lid, and I'd walk up to the bees and kind of capture them. So now I have some professional equipment. Still makes me a little nervous. I do have to be careful because I don't want to get stung. Look at that massive bee. Cool. So this is a female. 
the males of the species are brown, and they look like little fuzzy brown teddy bears flying around. I've only seen one. Uh, it's pretty neat. Yeah, there he is. So it's just a stink bug. So this guy flies, and he has pretty good eyesight, so as soon as he realizes that like, this is the opening, whew, out he'll fly. So let me stick a, stick a container in there and snag him out of there. Pretty color patterns on this one. Hard to see this, maybe. Kind of see that little guy. So this is an adult. Uh, if it was not an adult, it wouldn't have wings. Wouldn't be able to fly. So I know he can fly because I saw him flying. Um, but there's a the little guy. Really, we'll see what happens. Let's see if I can get him to fly out. 